What's going on everyone? This is Corey with Xbox Tavern with another review. This time I'm taking a look at Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen some first looks at all the games that this collection of games has to offer. And so now let's dive into how you actually maneuver throughout the game and really what it has to offer. Well, first and foremost, this is a game of sports and you play as Looney Tunes characters. Now, you can play these sports individually. You can play like a cup or a tournament mode where you stitch together a bunch of those wins and see if you can get first place overall, things like that. Has local multiplayer and single player against computers, and that's the high level. So let's dive into the details. First, let's talk about the characters. Your classic Looney Tunes characters are going to be involved in this game. So we're talking Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, Lola Bunny, the Road Runner and the Coyote, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, Taz, and I think that's it. So all of these characters are in the game as playable characters. There are more that will join in as your teammates and there are more in the crowds and whatnot. And there are some deep pulls. I can appreciate the character that I get to see on the screen. Whether I can play with them or not is another thing, but there are some deep cuts in there that I appreciate that they're there in the first place. Now, when you get to character selection, there is a benefit to picking characters strategically. As you navigate over each of their profiles, you'll see that they all have their own individual speed stats as well as strength and intelligence. Obviously, that's going to come into play in different ways for the different games that they have to offer. Going along with kind of what we're looking at with the characters, you can also see the style that they went with this game is kind of cell shaded and it's kind of 3D-ish. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan. I do like the cell shaded look, but Whenever you mix that with the 3D effect, it kind of loses a little bit of its luster, kind of looks a little unpolished at times. So I'm not super crazy about the look. However, I do think the cell shaded part of it fits Looney Tunes really well. So now let's talk about the actual games you get to play. First off, there is basketball. So basketball is gonna be a two on two sport. So if you're going in single player, you will have a computer teammate and you're gonna be going against two other people. This is by far the worst game mode of them all. Um, it just didn't control like I would want a basketball game to control. There was pretty much a consistent loop of passing, shooting, or just taking the ball, running straight to the goal and shooting it, sometimes dunking it. And it just seemed like it was a constant back and forth, which is kind of basketball, I get it but it just felt a little clunky. There wasn't a whole lot of rhyme or reason to whenever I lost the ball, it just kind of happened. And yeah, I just, it just did not feel good to play. So it was by far my least favorite. So if we kind of start from the bottom and go up, the next one's gonna be football or soccer, uh, whatever you wanna call it. This one was a little better than basketball, but it still felt like a very mid-tier soccer game. Again, there was your standard passing and shooting, and it was kind of boring in, in that sense. Uh, now, one thing I haven't mentioned that you probably have seen is in the basketball and the soccer and, and the other sports, there are like power-ups that appear and things that drop on the field. And especially when I was playing soccer, I noticed it a lot, but things would just kind of get in my way or the powers that the the enemy or opponent gets, uh, they're just super annoying, which I get they kind of need to be, um, but I just did not make the game very enjoyable for me. So unless I missed it, I couldn't turn those off either. And I get it's kind of Looney Tunes and it's kind of wacky for a reason. It just, I just didn't care to do that. I just wanted to play the sports as they were intended to be played without all the wackiness, but what are you gonna do? Going up from there, we have tennis. So tennis is going to be a team sport again. Uh, that is going to be two on two and it's pretty much any tennis game that you may have played where you have to take turns uh, serving the ball in different rounds. When you have a teammate you change position and you can hit the ball in several different ways depending on what face button you hit. You can charge those shots and yeah this one was a little bit more fun. A little bit more what I expected out of a decent 
tennis game. So we're kind of getting up there. And then we top it off with golf, which happened to be my favorite of the bunch. This one, you obviously don't have a team. You charge up your shot, you line it up first, and then you charge up the shot, try to land it right on the, the money to make the the power just as you need it to be, and you just shoot the ball. Now again, the power-ups are a thing that you can affect your other teammates, but for some reason, they just didn't bother me as much. Maybe I didn't have them happen as often. Also, golf kind of like sped along a little bit. All of the sports kind of felt okay lengthwise, except for basketball. And that's probably why basketball was a little spoiled for me as well, besides the controlling. It just felt like it went on forever. But golf, golf is, is kind of where it's at when I would go back and play kind of single player pick a game here kind of play not a tournament mode I would pick golf eight times out of ten uh, and those other two times are probably going to be tennis to be completely honest and that brings us to kind of the last part of the game that you play and that's the challenges section so this is an area that is broken up by the four sports and you're able to just kind of play them in short little bursts and you have to have a goal in mind that you need to hit. So for example, in tennis, you are going to be required to beat your opponent only using a certain type of spin. In golf, you need to get under par and destroy all the targets along the way. Maybe in basketball, you have to win the quarter and you have to have so many passes, things like that. So this part of the game actually makes you play it in different ways. And I can appreciate that, especially as a single player on this game. That is probably the most fun when you have some local multiplayer. So that's a thumbs up. Challenges are pretty good. But that's it. That's that's Looney Tunes wacky world of sports. So there's a decent character selection. They surprisingly have stats. There are four sports modes to pick from. They don't all control super great, but basketball is by far in the worst. Golf is by far the best there is some voiceover work and i happen to really enjoy that i kind of wish there was more uh every now and then you will hear especially in the intros uh and then like when like you steal a ball uh you may hear the character say something about that action and in some of those cases you're doing that a lot and they repeat themselves a lot so they could have more voice lines but i'm just happy they had any voice lines because those are iconic characters and and iconic voices so i'm glad that those made it in as little as they are and then the last negative thing really that i have about the game is just the load times i was playing on the series x but the load times were atrocious um getting getting from opening the game to starting a game felt like it took minutes on end when in reality i just needed to say play golf with bugs bunny go and it felt like i didn't get a timer out but it felt like i was waiting for a good five to ten you know probably five to seven seconds for a load screen to transition it was not fun and especially in today's age when i can't even really look at my phone between loading screens this is one of those games where it's like okay let me check twitter in between the load screens and then i would kind of get taken out of the game because they just were that long and to be honest that bad so i hated the loading times but otherwise this was an okay game if you have kids around or if you have local players around this could be a little bit more fun than it is with the ai but overall just a mid game nothing super crazy about this one I wish I liked it more than I did. But that's it. Thanks for watching. If you aren't on xboxtavern.com, be sure to go there. Check out all the reviews that we have to offer. We put up new reviews each and every week. But I've been Corey, and I will see you in the next review.